it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. You topple over, you topple over. Let's try to tie it all together. back this week uh, we're going to work on some side bend sit we're going to kind of flow through some yoga type poses kind of fall down to our hip using our side bent sit fallen star kind of posture have water maybe a towel we are going to get moving so let's scoot back and we'll go into a wide-legged seated position We'll just kind of shake out our legs. And we'll bring them in, go butterfly. And let's just move through this a little bit. So go butterfly, one, two, three, reach, open, and we'll rock forward. One, two, three. As you lean forward, reach with your chest, not your head. So, not rounding down, just reach. One, two, three, split, fold, butterfly. From this split, we're going to come into our side bend sit. So I'm going to lean onto my left cheek, left leg butterflies, right leg is going to wrap around. And then we'll swing out, go back to our split, butterfly. This time we'll add a lean to our butterfly. We'll go split and opposite side. So right leg wraps in onto that right hip. Left leg wraps behind. We'll go split, fold, butterfly fold. Split, left side, then sit. Come back, split, butterfly, split, right side, bent, sit. left side bend sit and we'll hang out on our left cheek legs to the right we're going to sit up nice and tall i'm going to plant the left hand and reach with the right i'm going to suck it in and ring it out coming back to center I'm going to pick up my legs, coming through my little boat pose, side bend sit the other side, aim to sit nice and tall, plant the right hand, reach with the left. Again, I'm going to tuck it in and ring it out and actively reach. Let's add a little flow to this, so we're going to swing through that boat and over to the side. We're going to move quicker through this. We're going to hit that side bend sit reach and then come back and switch. As I come to center, I go cheek to cheek, knees sway, and reach. You can use your arms for support, or you can go no arms until you reach. Your practice, your exploration, do what you gotta do, and have some fun with it. 
We'll do one more each side. And last side. Good. Let's flow back through knees to the left. We take our right foot with our left hand planted like we were reaching. I'm going to step up. So I have a little hip bridge and a step. And we'll come back. We'll sway through. Plant the right hand because my knees are to the right. Do a little hip bridge. And I step up. Back. Windshield wiper. Step. And we'll just play through that. What we're getting used to here is this hips up and then softly landing the hips here. Hips up. Boom. Hand takes the weight. I softly land the hips and roll through. Now for fun, let's try not to leave our feet down. We'll just roll through like that boat pose. Come through, boat, side bend, step up. Boat, roll through, step up. Land soft, plant, step. One more. And we'll come back to center into our bent sit seated position. And we'll wait a second for that heater. Back to business. So from our bent sit, let's add a few rocks just for fun. Let's say 10 rocking. So cat back, chin tucked. You can hold behind your thighs to kick and pull. And we'll reach forward with the chest. Let's do 10. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you want, you can release the hands for seven. And then we can also reach up for eight or nine for 10. Good. Let's flow kind of into a little bit more yoga-esque thing. We're going to sway our knees to the left, coming into my side bend sit. Like we did before, I'm going to plant and step up. Now I'm in my low lunge. And we'll just rock hips forward to hips back, half split. We'll rock forward, raise the knee, and we'll cartwheel up to warrior two. So back foot pivots perpendicular, front foot points forward, opening the knee, arms wide. Hips tucked, looking over that front middle finger. Then we'll cartwheel down, drop the knee, and we'll rock back. We'll rock forward, and now I'm just gonna step back and lower down to that side bent sit. So I'm not moving across the floor. I'm gonna use that kind of boat transition switch. And now my knees are to the right. Planting the right hand, stepping up with the left. Finding that low lunge again. We'll rock back, half split, runner stretch, shifting forward, raising the knee. That heel pivots over in the back. Right arm cartwheels up, tucking in the hips, arms wide, warrior two. Cartwheeling down, knee drops, rocking back, coming forward, that front leg, steps to the back, and then I'll lower down. Let's flow through that a little bit. We'll take out some of the steps 
and see what happens just to move quick. So I'm gonna do boat switch, step up, and we'll just go right to warrior two from here. So I'm gonna raise and cartwheel, a lot of things happening. And let's continue that. So as we cartwheel, we'll just cartwheel back down. And then we'll step back, come down, boat switch, low lunge, cartwheel warrior two. It keeps coming, so re revolve side angle, knee comes down, stepping back, side bend sit, boat switch, low lunge, warrior two. Revolve side angle. As I turn, that back foot pivots. Knees come down. I'm gonna settle down to that side bend. Sit. And boat switch. Step up. Cartwheel warrior two. As I keep going, that heel lifts. Knee comes down. Hip comes down as I step. Side bend, sit, boat switch, step up, cartwheel warrior two, keep coming around, knee comes down, side bend, sit, boat switch. One more, each side. Let's go a tiny bit faster. So I'm gonna shift, step, open up, Coming down, knee lands, settling in, boat switch, stepping up, cartwheeling open, all the way back down, knee plants, side bend sit. Cool. We got to that a little bit faster than I thought, but that's kind of what we're going to play today. All right. So let's kind of dwell in each posture for a moment and come to our side bent sit. I'm going to go knees to the left. I'm going to raise up. I'm going to step up, scoot for you guys. So right knees forward, left foot's back. I'm going to engage those toes and an inhale up to my high lunge. I'm going to switch the angle. And about face. So high lunge, right foot forward. Hips tucking in, working on that back hip. Scooting the hips forward, arms come up. And I'm not gonna bow here, I'm gonna kinda squeeze the abs in. As my left heel falls, warrior two. Let's go to extended side angle. So front forearm to front thigh, left arm reaches up and over. I'm still squeezing my hips forward. If you're feeling saucy, you can melt down towards the floor. Still rolling those ribs up towards the ceiling. I will plant both hands down, the left heel raises up, like lizard pose. And I'm gonna reach the right arm up. Revolve side angle. If you want, you can reach forward. Reaching up. And I'm gonna switch the arms. As I switch the arms, coming in towards that fallen star, fallen triangle, I'm going to soften my knees, lower my hips. I'm in a wide side bent sit. Careful with your knee on your way down. You can shorten your stance or do whatever. So we're going to pop hand to hand. Right hand plants. I'm going to pop up, shift to that revolve side angle, shift warrior two. Let's play with that just on its own. So go extended, revolt. So if you're like, I don't know what's going on here. Lend that back knee. That's now your pivot point. 
right hand comes down and I lower my hip. All right, now I'm getting a nice stretch here. If that's too much, don't come down, shorten your stance, then lower. Up, and I'm bouncing, cartwheeling, extended, revolved. Let's all drop our knee. You can shorten your stance and fall to the side, soft. Pressing up, I get to adjust, open, extend, revolve, and settle in. Up, over, warrior two, extend, revolve, land your knee if you like, and come to the side bend sit. And let's switch. So right from here we'll do that boat, top leg, bottom leg, cheek to cheek. That was right leg forward on that side. I forgot already. Yeah, so now we're gonna go left leg forward. Hips up, settle into your low lunge. We'll cartwheel up to our warrior two. So this time my left leg's my front leg. Settling in, left forearm to left thigh, right arm reaching overhead. Maybe we melt down to the floor or mentally, because that's quarantine. Right hand comes down, left arm goes up. We can reach overhead. And remember to breathe. Left arm comes up. We're gonna play that game. We're gonna land the right knee, bounce to the left hand, softly lower my hips. If this is too much, again, shorten that stance. I'm gonna press up like we were doing moments ago. Hips up to my knees, low lunge. I can make adjustments here. Cartwheel up to that warrior two. That's hip scooting forward, knee opening to the side, back foot perpendicular. Arms to a T. Extend. Revolve. Right knee can come down. I can shorten my base and settle in. Then bounce back. Boom. Open. Extend. Switch. Shorten my base and bounce back okay let's switch camera one back up so let's move a little quicker kind of know where you're at at this point but we're gonna go extended revolve i'm bouncing to come down Bouncing up, warrior two. So you can see what I mean. They don't call it fallen star, fallen triangle for nothing. So we got our warrior two, our extended, our revolve side angle, and look, I'm falling. And I'm coming back and coming up. Extend, revolve. Falling. Coming up. And let's do one more. Well, bam. Bam. Boom. Good. From our triangle, uh, from warrior two, we'll pivot both feet to face the front, come to a wide legged forward fall. Standing forward fold. You can soften the knees if you like. You can take hold of opposite elbows, let the upper body hang. It'll come up. I'm gonna heel till my feet in. Sending the knees outward, coming into that goddess pose, deep squat. Let's 
go hands to the knees so we can press them away, elongate through our spines. Trying to sit up nice and tall. And now let's dip the right shoulder and look up to the left. To center, dip the left shoulder, looking up to the right. And now we're hip hop dancing, switching. One and two. One and two. One more each side. Good, coming up to stand, heel toeing my feet together. I'm gonna send the knees forward, coming up to my tippy toes, trying to sit straight down. So my hips So my hips are over my heels, squeezing my feet in, knees drive straight, and I'm gonna come up. You can come down as little or as much as you like, but we're trying to aim for control and balance. Again, hips to the heels, shoulders over hips. And down. Do three more. A one, a two, a three. And let's land our knees. So to do that, I can lean back, land the knees nice and soft. Tops of the feet can come down to the mat. And now let's melt to our side bend sit. So I'm gonna go hips two to my left, hand for support, and open up. And let's play with that for a second. So I'm gonna reverse that, reverse engineer. My left foot slides in, right hips come down, release the knee. Make the space, tuck it in, lift up. Switch, open, lift, tuck, switch, open. Good, coming up, coming over, open. Bounce up, and switch. Let's do two more. One. Let's work that hip flexor, because why not? So we're here in our side bend sit. Knees are to the side. My top leg, I'm gonna plant that right hand because my knees are to my right. So that's my left leg, and I'm gonna lift it. And then I'll extend it. Fun times. Now let's swing it to the front. Back to the side, bending it, and then for fun, we're going to extend it to the front, extend it to the back, wrap for five, two, three, four, five, we'll plant it. Coming to our boat. Yeah. Keep our knees up, proud chest forward. You can hold behind the thighs. Keep the knees bent for now. Let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Knees to the opposite side for that side bent sit. 
And here we go again. I'm planting the left hand. Right leg floats up. We'll extend it. This side definitely likes it less. And we'll go forward. And we'll extend. And wrap. Let's do that slow one more extension to the front and to the side and tuck. Let's add that five swings. One, two, three, four, and five. Coming back to our boat. This time let's windshield wiper. Instead of cupping, we can just rest. And we're gonna tip back. Again, same rules apply. Proud chest. I'm gonna bring my knees together. And we can, uh, we can go no hands, palms up. And then extend the feet up parallel to the floor. Flexing the feet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Planting the hands. I'm going to turn to face you guys. Let's get, let's get weird. Let's see what happens. So kind of like we were doing and uh, swinging our side bend sit side to side. Let's kind of do that as like an ab workout or a balance challenge, whatever. Familiar with, say, cherry picking as an ab workout. We can do the same thing, but instead of using our hands, we're going to swing our legs. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. All right. Let's give it a shot. Uh, who cares how many? Let's just go. So I'm swinging it. Swinging it. I'm just going cheek to cheek. If you need a break, you lean to the side more. Otherwise, try to stay upright. One more each side. And we're gonna come down to our backs. To our backs. Take my arms wide to a T. And I'll rock my knees side to side. Slow and controlled. Feel where you're at. Feeling pretty confident. Core is engaged. You can start to go a little faster or challenge yourself by extending your legs to your desired effect. All right, coming to center. Let's do bicycle kicks, alternating one knee long, one leg long, one knee hold, and we'll switch. Head and shoulders are off the mat. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Head and shoulders come down, let's reach up, plant the feet, and bridge. Let's hold here, we can free our arms to do whatever they like. And then let's extend the right leg. And we'll lower and lift for five, four, three, two, one. And switch. Left leg. One, 
two, three, four, five, and one more for good measure. Good. Let's do five bridges. Arms and hips up. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to our abs. Using our rock, we're going to rotational rock. So as my hips come up, I'm going to scoot them to the side. As my shoulders come up, they follow up. Let's do three times around and then switch three times around. I think that's two. And that's three opposite direction. Hips, shoulders, hips, and shoulders. For one. For two. And three. Good. Let's come back to a seated staff pose, legs long. Long sit, sitting up nice and tall. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Let's inhale up. And this time we'll exhale with a twist. So right arm forward, left arm back. Inhaling up. Twist opposite direction, left arm forward. Right arm back. Inhaling to the front. And exhale, fold. Let's do that once more. Exhale, right arm forward. Inhaling up. Exhale, opposite side, left arm forward. Inhaling up. Exhale, fold. Inhaling up. This time I'm going to bring my left foot inside my right thigh. Half butterfly. Figure four. And we're going to fold over the extended leg. If you find yourself falling to the middle, just regroup. Line up with that right leg. Or whatever legs forward. Reaching forward with the chest first, and then letting the upper body hang. And while we're here, let's take the right arm inside the left thigh, wherever you are. And we'll open the left arm to the ceiling. And then reaching it forward, really feel that left side open up the lat. Feeling relatively comfortable, your right hand can take hold of that left arm and give it a little extra weight to it. Or just lever in. Back to the top, coming up. Let's go to that side bend sit, right leg wraps, and then we'll fold forward. Shitty pigeon, if you will. And we'll just crawl to the right. And we'll crawl to the left. And back to center, floating up, right leg long. And we'll switch the left leg long this time. Right foot inside and folding forward. Left arm inside the left leg, reaching up towards the ceiling with the right arm. And then reaching towards the foot. Option to add weight with the other arm. But don't sacrifice the roll towards the ceiling. Reaching up, 
Coming up, left leg wraps around, and we'll fold forward. Crawling our way to the left. And coming back to the right. While we're here, we'll stay low. We'll release that left leg. And I'm just going to roll out to my back. I'm going to recenter. And let's take a full body stretch. Inhaling up, reaching through the toes to the fingers. And we'll add a rock up here. So reaching, knees come in. We'll rock and reach. And then we'll melt down like a C. Full body stretch. Knees come in and rock up. Melt down. Full body stretch. Knees up and rock one more round extend knees come up and we'll rock and reach come in face you guys take whatever comfortable seated position you like and we'll just inhale the arms wide and up then we'll go palms together elbows together for three, that's one. Palms to touch, trying to bring those elbows in. Peeling the elbows away. For two. And for three, nice and slow. Peeling the elbows away, palms come out. And we'll just release. And that is time. That is our class this week. We will be back next Sunday live on Zoom. Thank you for participating and take care.